too. Sure is. We've got tribute to the troops that is going to be on USA Network at 8 p.m. tomorrow night. So make sure that you turn in. It's the 14th annual tribute to the troops. This is such a big part for WWE. We have all the superstars from Raw, SmackDown, 205 Live, all coming together to pay tribute to our troops. Unbelievable. Um, all right, we have on our next guest here on Talking Smack, the WWE Women's Champion here on SmackDown, Alexa Bliss. Hello. How are you? Uh, I could be a lot better. I'm really, really sore. How's but, your knee doing? I mean, it's all, I don't know, it's really hard to say. I haven't been able to get to the trainer yet, but, you know, I'm, I'm really concerned about it. So what happened out there? I, I honestly don't know. I, I landed when I was getting out of the ring. I landed weird on my knee, and I was just so focused on the pain that I didn't, I didn't even know that I was being counted out. And last thing I knew, the bell was ringing and my knee was in immense pain. I couldn't put any pressure on it. Wait, wait why haven't you been to the trainer yet? It's been a, like a while. quite a while since your match. I know, but I thought I could maybe, you know, sit and elevate it myself. Just kind of hang out in the locker room, see how it feels. But, you know, now, I definitely need a professional opinion. So part of me felt like you were limping until you got counted out but then you came in and then you were no longer limping and then all of a sudden you like just remembered to limp again Is well that? one i feel like that's kind of questioning my integrity daniel that's kind of that's i pride myself on my integrity and i mean when you're injured and you're, you know, okay, you have this look, adrenaline, but, but you should here. know everything about adrenaline and injuries. Like you're you moving pretty injuries. good here, though. You're moving pretty good. Actually, you're kicking with your bad leg. It's adrenaline. I mean, Renee, you don't know what I'm talking about, but you, you would know what I'm talking about. You, you've suffered through injuries and you've, you've competed through injuries. I've seen it. Right. Yeah. And then I went to the doctor. Right Which away. I plan on doing. But now that adrenaline has worn off, I mean, don't you have to take care of yourself as a SmackDown Women's Champion, as the leader of the locker room right now? Is that Should that not be a first priority for you? Oh, absolutely. I am fully plan on facing anybody for my title. I mean, I, Becky, it was fair for her to have her rematch. She came out and demanded a rematch. I didn't agree with it at first, but then Shane granted her her rematch, which I fully respect. And, you know, I just... I really need to focus on myself and and my my injury and you know I want to be the best SmackDown Women's Champion I can be because you know I am the locker room leader and now I have to be looked up to. How has it been for you having that change of the tide of you having to step up into that role and, and be the leader of the locker room? How has the reception been from the other women in the division? Great, absolutely. Great. Sorry, absolutely great. Do you have anything else to say on this situation? I, no. No. Mm -mm. I, I don't. I don't either, guys. I, if you if you don't mind, I need to go find some ice. Okay. Thanks, guys. Best of luck with the knee. I mean, what do you do in a situation like that? Do you question I, someone's integrity? Do I you have to walk with her down to the medical staff to see what the deal is like? There's a lot of drama here on SmackDown Live. Yeah. Like, between people getting sick, people getting really hurt, potentially people not oh. getting really hurt. Yeah. People just wanting to be number one contenders. All this stuff. So people not wanting to defend their titles. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on. D does it feel to you like people are making excuses for their spots or what? <sighs> yeah. Well... Well, we'll be back next week with more Talking Smack as we break down everything that happens on SmackDown Live. And make sure to watch Tribute to the Troops. That is tomorrow night on USA Network at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. We will see you guys next week when hopefully everyone will have it together and nobody will come on here and yell at Daniel Bryan. <laughs> see you guys next week. <laughs>